And despite the fact there was DNA evidence, I was spat. They like spitting, don't they? I was told the DNA evidence wasn't conclusive because I was because it was spit. I ranted on Facebook. I was told if I saw them to phone 999. <laughs> <laughs> So last night, a large group of men went onto the West Mill Estate in Hitchin. Let me talk to you about how we got to that place. Let me, since this incident of a young, uh, of an old couple being verbally, physically attacked, in innocent people going about their daily lives shopping by feral youths. I've been now contacting and inundated with people talking about this gang and how they act, their intimidation in the Hitchin area. Let me read you this one. This is the same gang that dragged me out of my car back in January 2018 on the West Mill Estate. I gave the police their, their names and I was told, sorry, there isn't enough evidence. Despite the fact that my girlfriend was in the car and witnessed it, and despite the fact there was DNA evidence, I was spat. They like spitting, don't they? I was told the DNA evidence wasn't conclusive because I was because it was spit. I ranted on Facebook. I was told if I saw them to phone 999 and let the police know, and despite doing this, nothing happened. I was also told that Omar's dad said he was at home studying when I was dragged out of my car and beaten up, so I got the wrong person, despite it being a 100% definitive identification. He used something like a knuckle duster on me. My face had had very distinctive br brushing pattern on it. Again, the police said, no, that's not the case. This scum needs to be stopped one way or another. I am a 52-year-old disabled guy that was driving back from volunteering at a social club for disabled people with my girlfriend when this happened. It affected me badly enough that I had to stop volunteering. I was advised by the police to change my car, which was a three-month-old Ford Galaxy. Luckily, I was able, due to the generosity of Ford Stevenage, but I'm not the only casualty of these fucks. They have put another man in hospital for defending his daughter against them. Attacking girls, attacking disabled people, attacking old women. They need to be stopped. I don't understand why they, they've not been stopped. I want answers. The PC that was dealing with my case was PC Barringer from Hitchin Police Station. Maybe if enough people contact him, he'll be willing to pass it up instead of sweeping it under the carpet. Why are these crimes being swept under the carpet by these little feral youths? Why? What's going on? Let me read you another one. So this is what... So I'm now being contacted by so many people. Let me read you another one. I'm from this town. I used to work in the off-license very recently. And I was verbally abused by one of these boys when, when I was pregnant. I also had my other baby in the shop at the time. So, abusing pregnant women as well. Add that to their list of little gangster wannabe fans. This next video you're about to see is from this same little gang. So Tarek's here, DJ's chasing up a boy up down the road. This boy's driving around down the road on his bike with his friend. They pull over, they jump out, four of them, outnumbering them again. And they attack them with knives and chains. Now just watch this first part of the video. Look at the knife. Have a look at the knife circled there. <laughs> And share this everywhere in Hitchin, because if, if this is your daughter, listen to this. Listen to the girl. Go get one of them. Go get him. The girl instigated, go get him. What sort of children are these? Go get him as they're attacking him with a knife, trying to stab him. Now watch when this is now, now you can see circled. This is Tarek. What about you, fam? What about you, fam? Shank him, do your thing, shank him. He's talking like it's a game. What he's telling him to do there is murder him, stab him, kill him, shank him. And then he sounds disappointed. Listen to this. Shane, you're not doing no shanking, fam. No, no, what? 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 What?
You vile little critter. Now, share this everywhere. Make sure everyone sees this. How they're not getting arrested and running around the road with knives, with chains, beating innocent kids up. The reason they beat that boy up? Because he wasn't from their estate. That's it. Now, all the gangster boys, you run away from me, yeah? On my own, with my kids in the car. The boy, when he starts standing up, the boy who gets off the bike and he's up for it. He's a back away and go then as well. You've got knives, you've got chains. What would make you a real man? Is if you just put those weapons down and had a fist fight with you. You might gain a bit of respect, but the minute everyone just thinks you're little tramps, little scumbags, carrying a blade don't make you a gangster, it makes you a little rat. Terrorising innocent people don't make you a gangster, it makes you vermin. Now the, th the confusing thing for me is, you live in Hitchin, boys. This isn't the Bronx, it's not Brixton, it's not Luton, it's Hitchin. You're from Hitchin. And once this is allowed to start, to hit your police, half your police, once you allow this culture to breed in your town, okay, you get tit for tat and you will not stop it. We've seen it, I've seen it all my life in Luton. You will not stop it. So you need to come down. We've seen so far the disabled guy, they get away of beating him up. This guy, they get away of beating him up. The coffin in the, coffin in the old couple's face, give her a black eye. They're out on bail, okay? Abuse the pregnant woman. These lads, it's not that you're just heroin dealers or shots, because if that was the case, all right, you scumbags, but you're overstepping the mark and going for innocent, vulnerable people you're targeting with your hate. Now, one more thing, half a ship please. You see this case here? You put out a witness appeal for. This was also them. Beat the boy up with a pole. This was them as well, okay? I'm getting fed information from everywhere about these little rats. Everyone on their estate wants them out. Everyone I, we spoke to, everyone come out of their houses, Get rid of them. And just for anyone who tries to turn this into a race fit, that group of men that went onto that estate in Westville, who many of them were from Westville and Hitchin, were white, black, and Pakistani. I had Pakistani friends come over from Luma, come over for that. Because people are that disgusted and outraged by these little rats' actions. Now, after being told all of these things, then I'm following this go viral online. And I see a lady talking online saying that they're threatened to stab her and murder her because she'd shared the video. The person you're going to hear speaking is Kane Sims. This is the message he's leaving. Threatening to stab and kill. Threatening to stab girls, okay, for his little gang of mates. This is Kane Sims. Make sure to share this everywhere. Let, let his mum and dad see how he's carrying on. Little bad boy gangster. Going to stab a girl. Oh. Because I know what you're like. Jess, you don't do that. Delete your comment now before I pull up to your house by 12 o'clock tonight. I suggest you take the comment down. Hands down. Tell Ian as well. I'll stab up his claw. Now, after hearing all of this and reading all of this and understanding that, well, can you rely on the police? Can you? Doesn't seem so. In fact, everyone I'm talking to says you can't. They weren't prosecuted for the violent beating of the boy. They battered him with chains. Yeah, One of them had a knife. They weren't prosecuted for beating up the disabled guy. They're attacking, they're attacking old people in, in town centres. They're all out on bail. They've all been released. So can you rely on the police? Well, when this mother rang the police because they're threatened to stab her, I got in contact with the mother. I said, let me know if the police come. Hours have gone. The police didn't seem interested. That was her words. They did not seem interested. Upon that, I then made phone calls to local lads in Hitchin. Local lads, I'm only down the road in Lewis, to go over to the West Mill Estate to see these feral little youths. You know, little bad boy fans that want to stab people and hurt people in front of their kids. So we went on to the West Mill Estate. <laughs> Fuck, no, that's a work van, isn't it? A work van. That's the house. That's the house. They've got kids in there. They've got kids in there. They ain't doing it with kids. Hold on, where's the crack house? Oh, yeah. Now, I had Tarek's address. As soon as I got on the estate, we were given Tarek's address. So we went to Tarek's house. Now, the difference is... We found out that there's children in Tarek's house. And do you know what, Tarek? The difference between me and you, yeah? I wouldn't do that. I care about the children in your house. You didn't care about my kids. You didn't give a shit. You didn't care about an old man and woman. You didn't care. 
You've got no morals, okay? I had, there was a hundred men there last night who want to go through your door and, we, and want to find you. Yeah? I stopped them from going through your door because I care about your family. Probably more than you, you little scumbag. You hor- and you know what shocked me? Your neighbours all come out. All they say is he's a scumbag, he just sells heroin. Yeah? You're terrorising families on an estate. No one had a good word to say about you. Not one person. In fact, everyone was grateful that men had come onto the estate to sort your little mess of a crew out. Now, what I find more shocking out of any of this is the bad boy gangster lives with his mum. You live at your mum's. You're crack dealing in town. You're running around with blades and acting like a little bad boy. And you live at your mum's, mate. What are you doing? Who do, you, who do you think you are? Now, also then, so we left, we left where there were children. We went to Omar's house, just around the corner. I have, yeah, yeah, you take the, the, uh, the film for following us. And the police come from everywhere. Now, You'll now see a recording. You'll now see the video of where I'm talking with the police. It's just get this large group of people dispersed because this is this is causing even more community tensions. Mate, that's the only this bullshit. Community tensions. We just spoke to a family. We just spoke to a family. They're selling heroin and crack. The crack house is around that corner. What's right? Do you know what we'll do? We're we're, we're, going to walk you now to the crack then. We're getting more and more calls about a large group of people walking around. Okay. But we'll show you where the crack is. Proper no calls about a crack house. Crack house. That's killing people. These little scumbags are shot in crack from a house in that corner. So let's. If you won't shut it down, you're going to have men come and shut it down. Right. Will you listen to what he says? I suggest you take the commander hands down. Tell everyone as well, I'll stab up his clock. I'll stab them up. Now, this, this lady and her daughter have rang your officers. You haven't turned up. They're going to kill them, right? This is a gang who have been caught with a gun, caught with knives already, yeah? You've let them back out on bail. It's like, I, I know it's not you, officer, but it's like you're waiting until they kill someone. And we've turned up, and all the families come out saying they sell heroin, they sell this. They're destroying this they're area. Not the they're a local area, mate. Everyone it's here took this to get a response like this. Half these people are local. Half, it's these people worse. Live, half these people live on this estate. I will go now, you've got my number. Yes. What I'm saying is, if, they, if you let a Gambian illegal immigrant out with a blade, yeah, already on a charge, to beat up an old woman, you let him back out onto this estate, We're here. to terrorise more people, you'll have a thousand minutes. Right. Now we don't, I don't want to. So, no, so if no, you bring me tomorrow, I'll meet you tomorrow right. and go for everything. Okay. I'll give you all of these statements. Yep. From I've got five families who've been terrorised. People have been beat up with with chains. Right. Them, yeah? So what I need to do then is sat and meet with you That's and one, one of the detectives from um, yes, please. Hitchin, yep. who organises the local crime unit, yep. who can try and get who, all who can try and say why he's been. How can I'm you bail him? I will more than happy to set that up. I know it's not down to you, but I'm saying how can he be? How can an illegal immigrant with a knife be bailed? So let's get that set up. Let's try and get everything to lie. Let's just try and get everything. Now, let me show you a video now of how many police actually ended up coming. There's been no arrest tonight, no one antisocial behaviour, uh, but yet they're out in force. Why? Outside the swimming pool, look how many there is. Multiple police officers doing nothing when crime has been happening on our streets. My point is, if you can get this many police from all over Hertfordshire to come onto the Westmore estate, did you hear what he said? Community tensions. The only community tensions are being caused by these feral little youths that you're allowing, Hertfordshire police, to run riot. You're allowing to terrorise innocent people, to intimidate innocent men, women, pregnant women, families, girls, violent beatings. They're running riot in your town. Now, when a, when a mother rings you up because they're threatening to stab her daughter and you haven't got the resources to come out, but then all of a sudden your resources are out. And guess what, everyone? You know, little wannabe gangster fam, blah, blah, I'll stab you, I'll jump you in front of your, in front of your kids, bro. They've all accepted police protection, yeah? They've all been moved out. The little bad boy gangsters are gone out of their little estate, hiding. Everyone knows your faces. Everyone knows what you've done. Everyone knows the type of people you are. That's a better punishment than anything any judge can give you. Everywhere you walk, people know who you are. 
and they know what you stand for. Now, Hitchin Police, from last night, the, the, the head of the police contacted me today. You'll hear a discussion I had with him now. That little rat, that little rat, that, that Omar, he's the one who yeah. let off shots in Summerfield. He, he, so, but what, what I can't understand, which I, that's why I want the answer from the police, is he's an illegal immigrant from Gambia. He's already been right. caught. He's already been caught with a knife. He's already been arrested with a knife in a car where there were guns. How? Yeah, how? I mean, you, you, you can you can understand this problem. I can't comment. Oh, no. on no, I get it. All, all, all I would say is the whole matter in its entirety has been investigated. I'm content that we've got a senior detective that's overseeing it. We're pulling everything together, and our absolute intention is to refer it to the CPS. What they decide in terms of charge is largely out of our hands, but all I can assure you is we're pulling everything together. To what find about, the best officer, can, can, you, can you comment on... If he's an illegal immigrant, and he, how is how now with this latest offence, how is he back out on the street again? How is he back yeah. out on the street? See, I, I don't want to, to be honest. I, ju I just bought a website this morning, www.deportomar.com. Yeah? I've just yeah. bought that website. I don't want to bring a massive national campaign into Hitchin. I just, want, I just don't think an illegal immigrant from Gambia, who has already been caught with a knife, who has attacked an old woman, I don't think he should be walking the streets of Hitchin. Right. I mean, uh, again, so you, you, you understand that, uh, uh, you know, we do work with the UKBA. If immigration statuses are in question, then we're reliant on them to, to enact that. If it wasn't for the coronavirus and the situation we're in, okay, I didn't want to do that last night. I said to a police officer, I want to be home. I don't want to be coming out of here. But you're not answering. you got fat. I'm, no. to, to the message to little gangsters, boys, yeah? You see, if you go near them women's houses, you're going to have 200 men at your house. It took 10 minutes to find out every single thing about every one of you, okay? Stop intimidating innocent people. Stop threatening to hurt women. Be men. Grow up and be men. What's wrong with you? Now, to the police, if it wasn't already for this coronavirus situation, and I know you've got a, diff uh, you've got a lot going on and the whole country has, I've already bought www.deportomar.com. Omar, I'm going to run a campaign, bro. I'm going to make sure everyone knows your name everywhere, okay? And I want you to see you deported. You're a Gambian illegal immigrant. You've come to our country and you think you can put your hood up and spit in old people's faces. You've been welcomed into a country, given a house, given a home. And look how you repay it, you horrible little scumbag. I'm going to make sure I build a massive thing against you, bruv, to make sure you're deported out of this country. You horrible little vermin. You should not be here. You should not be here. Weapons, violence against innocent people. But again, to Hitchin Police, because of the situation with coronavirus, we just hope now after last night you see that men are willing to come out like that. You could have a thousand men on that estate. And do you know what? All of the locals welcomed it. So your community tensions is just them little scrotes that are causing that. If you agree that Omar, not just because he's an illegal immigrant, but because of his actions and continued actions of intimidation and violence towards vulnerable people in Hitchin, has outstayed his welcome in our country, then please sign this petition at www.deportomar.com.